Hello, um, welcome to our video about Skype for Business and integrating Skype for Business with Google Calendars. My name is Paul Richards and I'm with USB Pros. And today we're going to go over how you, a few different ways you can integrate Skype for Business with Google Calendars. Um, here at USB Pros, we use Skype for Business um, for video conferencing, but we use Google Calendars for our calendaring solution. So there's a couple different ways I'm going to show you guys how to integrate the two. Uh, we kind of have a workaround, and then we have a full-blown solution which will inter integrate Microsoft Exchange, Google Calendars, and Skype for Business all into one platform called Unified CT. The first thing I want to do is I want to share my screen, and I'm going to show you guys how um, to integrate Skype for Business with Google Calendars. This is our workaround. So if I launch a Skype for Business meeting, which I've done right here, uh, what I can do is I can actually go down here and get the meeting entry info. And I can just click this button right here, and this link is the link to my ad hoc meeting. So this ad hoc meeting uh, can be copied, and I'm gonna close this, uh, but basically I can copy it and then create an event um, called my Skype for Business meeting, and I can schedule it in Google Calendars. Now this link is an ad hoc link, meaning that link changes every single time I start a new Skype for Business meeting. So if you close your Skype for Business meeting um, and then reopen it, this link is no longer going to work. So for this um, workaround to work successfully, what you're probably going to want to do is ask your information technology department if they can set you up with a static uh, meeting ID. If you can have a static meeting ID, all you have to do is copy that static meeting ID, which never changes, and you can schedule in Google Calendars your Skype for Business meetings, invite as many people as you'd like to the meeting, and from there, you can actually um, simply integrate Skype for Business and uh, Google Calendars. So it's best to get a static ID for your meeting. If you can't, you can still do this, but you cannot close your Skype for Business meeting, because as soon as you do that and open a new one, the link that you've just copied will be changed. So that's our first way of doing this. Our second way uh, is called using Unified CT. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how that works. So this is Unified CT right here. And what Unified CT does is it actually integrates Google Calendars, Microsoft Exchange, and Skype for Business into one platform. So what I did right there is I clicked the configuration button. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you what we're looking at here. This is my Google Calendar right here. So this is my Google Calendar actually being displayed in the top uh, portion here of the, of the bar. And what, what this software does is it actually goes and reads my Google Calendar and sees if it's a video call. So you can see right here I have a video call that's from zoom.us. And if I click join, that will actually join that video call. Um, I have a link meeting, which is also Skype for Business. Um, at, at in 45 minutes here if I would join it or I can actually view the details here um, and look at the meeting ID. So this is my calendar bar and it's actually integrated directly with Skype for Business and um, Microsoft Exchange. So uh, in here I have my Google area and I've already granted access through OAuth which means I just basically when you click grant access it will take you to your Google Calendar um, and it will actually show, uh, allow you to grant access, and then this will show all the calendars I have access to. So I can show multiple calendars on here. If I add an additional calendar, now it will actually add additional um, other people's calendars. In the center here, we're displaying the organizer's picture. That's the profile picture from Gmail. Um, if I had Exchange integrated in here, we would also have a tab for Exchange, which would show the Exchange calendar um, invites. And this integrates with uh, GoToMeeting, WebEx, um, and the meeting providers here. You can actually add as many as you'd like. Um, it integrates with Zoom.us, WebEx, GoToMeeting, and Skype for Business or Microsoft Link. And um, this is basically meant for the conference room, so it's meant to be a dashboard in a conference room. I use it for my personal meetings as well. But that's how we can actually integrate Skype for Business. And I'll just show you really quickly. This is launching an ad hoc Skype for Business meeting. So it actually does control Skype for Business. This would actually pull up my contacts here. Um, and it, you could, you're controlling Skype for Business, but you actually have your Google calendars actually showing up right here. 
So that is how we integrate Skype for Business with Google Calendars using Unified CT. You can also use our workaround uh, using either a static meeting ID or your uh, regular meeting ID that's just created each time and create a Google Calendar invitation that way. So those are just a few ways you can integrate Google Calendars with Skype for Business. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments at our blog at usbpros.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.